Kathy Dryden here, Pamper Chef with Kathy Dryden. Um, wanted to hop on here and share a Sunday soup idea for you, okay? In Florida, it's 90 something degrees, but we still eat soup. <laughs> Think about it like spaghetti or lasagna or any hot dish. You can still have soup, just turn that air condition down big time. We're gonna use our deluxe cooking blender that actually is gonna be very easy because I'm gonna put all the ingredients in, push it, and it's gonna cook and chop and do all the business. All right, so it's a very easy recipe. I will post the recipe in the comments when I'm finished, but basically this is it. Um, very easy. Fourth cup of vegetable stock, or if you want low um, sodium, you can do that. Then it's gonna take, you ready? Two plum or Roma tomatoes. Boop, no chopping necessary. This is my favorite part. Um, then it's gonna take um, oh, half a medium onion. So I went ahead and peeled it and um, done. I'm going to do three cloves of, it says two, you guys. They do need to be peeled, so I used our garlic peeler. I just rolled it inside to get the peel off. I'm gonna do three, because we like garlic here. Again, whole, ready to go. Then a can of whole tomatoes, okay? So this is a perfect recipe that you can do now and prep ahead, cool it off, and um, put it in serving bags or muffin tins, maybe you have big ones, and keep it in the freezer. Once they freeze, pop it out, and it's a serving size of tomato soup. So if you just wanna do it real quick for work, how fun is that? Just take a block of tomato soup and a sandwich, lunch is done for work, or um, we're using it for football watching. I don't know if I have any football friends out there, but rough day today. If you're a Jags fan, rough day. So just use this smooth edge can opener. Again, this keeps it smooth. Um, so you don't have to worry about anybody cutting themselves. And don't put it. So, so far, fourth cup of, woo, fourth cup of stock and half an onion peeled, two plum aroma tomatoes. You're gonna put a little bit of salt in there. Um, it says one teaspoon. I'm gonna tell you it's kind of your flavor choice. The, um, I kind of add a little bit more. That's why I kind of did the garlic too. I just, it needs a little, little extra flavor. All right, that is done. And you guys, that's it, ready to go. So the cool thing is, is I can walk away. Now it has two stages, let me get it going. Here we go. And let me see what the setting is. Oh, the soup setting. Hello, we're making soup. So you, it's a smart blender, so as you um, turn it, it has smoothie, alternate milk, grind, heated wash, soup, there it is. It's gonna get up to 212 degrees, but what happens is you're gonna see, it's gonna build up, and then it's gonna stop and warm up as it goes. The nice thing with that is, it's not immediately scorching your ingredients, um, it's just building up um, the heat. The one thing I will say, this glass part does get warm when it's all done cooking. Just be aware of that, that's why I have these huge handles and the lid. So it's gonna have a second stage that says add, and at that stage, you're gonna add a fourth cup of fresh basil. That's gonna add that yummy freshness with it. I may put a little bit of cream, heavy cream, just to make kind of a creamy tomato soup. Anything to add extra calories, I'm here for you. So I'm gonna actually go live in my Kicking Back with Kathy crew to do a football slider um, on our new Grill and Griddle. So I'm gonna do this, it's gonna be cooking. And then if you are interested in that recipe, click visit group or join group because I'm getting ready once I get everything set up for that to go live in there to show French onion football sliders. Um, we really needed that for the Jags game because I think maybe that was the good luck charm we were missing. I don't know. But make sure that you hop over there if you would like to see that recipe. So I'll post this tomato soup recipe for you um, for you to have. You can do this in a pot, you guys. It just doesn't chop and do all the heating and all the good business on its own. Then what's gonna happen when this is done, I'm gonna pour it, well, I'm gonna pour it in a bowl for us to eat with the sliders, but then the rest of it, if we don't eat it all, I'll just have it in, um, 
one cup serving sizes to freeze, pop them out, and put them in a baggie for future soup needs when it gets colder. All right, so join me over there, and that's all I got you guys. See you in a little bit.